So as you can tell by the title of this video, today I am going to be sharing with you what I am packing with me in my hospital bag. I am literally like a week away from delivering and I had my daughter Nova early. So, I mean, it could be any day. It could be like right now. I'm hoping that she waits a little bit because I got stuff to do. So I'm so glad that my bags came. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna be obsessed so i'm actually sponsored by this company baby lux and i'm going to show you the bags in a second but they are absolutely gorgeous like beautiful beautiful bags i'm looking at them right now they're so pretty i was chatting with the owner samantha she's so sweet and we literally created these bags with my ideas with some of the products that she had adding the baby's name on there and some of them have my name and of course we can't leave Nova out so some of them have Nova's name so it was just a super cool collaboration with her and the bags turned out exactly how I wanted them to they're so gorgeous so I would definitely suggest patronizing her business and even if you're not pregnant and get it as a gift for somebody or it doesn't even have to be for pregnancy it can be like you just need some fly bags so I'll show them off to you and then we're gonna start adding stuff in and also I'll have a discount code for the bags down below which is gonna be XO Jackie and you can also buy them in the Jackie set or Jackie collection I'm not sure what she's gonna call it but you can buy them in sets for a discounted rate. Here is a closer look. I'm gonna tell you what everything is, but just so you guys can see the little details. It says Nala Honey. And these are all fully customizable. You can have whatever you want written on them. The company actually encourages you to reach out and customize your own look. You can change this. This doesn't have to be a teddy bear. It can be something else this as well the pattern you guys can reach out to them on instagram and dm them and oh look nova's name on there <laughs> and it's not only for diaper bag use you can also change the material inside to a regular bag and use it for anything like a gym bag a travel bag a dance bag an overnight bag just whatever you can think that you can use these for it's a great baby shower gift you can use it for your company logo like something like this it's a document holder put your company logo on there you can really customize it all to get it exactly how you want okay you see how gorgeous these bags are so first things first this baby right here which is a document holder i've already put my insurance card in here it's really all the documents i'm going there with but so i have my insurance card right here but you want to make sure you have your insurance card and then have something to put your documents in because you'll get a whole bunch of documents from the doctor's office so this is going to be nice and convenient to have to store all of that paperwork that they're going to give me Okay, next I'm going to take the toiletry bag I'm going to take the smallest one the smallest one says Nala honey on it nope I actually got the biggest one <laughs> so I'm going to open this beautiful baby up and I'm going to show you some of the toiletries that I'll be taking with me first I'm going to take some witch hazel wipes I just really like these wipes they get my face really 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 clean so I just ordered a new one actually because I'm going to be just packing this away so taking these witch hazel wipes Neutrogena has these mini facial wipes that you can use makeup remover wipes um, I don't really use makeup remover wipes unless I'm like doing my makeup and I'm just trying to like get underneath my eyes But I imagine some wipes for my face will be kind of refreshing and I like that these are so many so cute So I'm just gonna take like hmm, Maybe three or four of them. They're really 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 small as you can see so Put those in here. I'm gonna take some body shower gel and I'm gonna take some soap this is my favorite kind of soap this dove one 
I'm just gonna take both of them. I like washing my body with both of them and so they're both small enough. So we'll take those. You guys know I like smelling good. So this was the smallest little body spray I could find. I don't really feel like I should be having on any heavy perfume. So I'm just taking a little body spray just so I can just. <laughs> this one smells so good. It smells like love smell from Victoria's Secret. It's not, it's just body ecology, but mm, it just smells so good and refreshing. So I'll take this little one. I put my lotion and my cleanser slash makeup remover in these two little three ounce bottles. So I have those guys. Then I have my deodorant. I'm really digging this brand of deodorant. It's paraben free and aluminum free, but I know they come in like little mini versions. I wish I had one of them, but my bag has enough space. So I'm gonna take that. I also wish I had a smaller toothpaste. I do, but DC actually uses a lot of toothpaste when he brushes his teeth. I don't really use a whole lot, but he does. So if I brought the little one, I know he's not gonna bring toothpaste. So he's gonna use all mine. So moral of the story is toothpaste and toothbrush i always keep extra toothbrushes and uh toothbrush caps in my travel drawer i have in my extra bathroom so i just pop these out and have that so these two things this one is a head wrap it's a little hello kitty head wrap thing i really like this when i'm doing my makeup or if i'm washing my face to keep my hair out of the way so I just love this little guy right here. And then also a shower cap as well. So I want to take a shower. My hair doesn't get all wet. And I hardly imagine me wanting to do my hair. I don't even like to do my hair when I'm going somewhere like nice. I didn't want to do my hair today. But if I do feel like doing my hair, I'm going to just bring this little packet. I don't want to bring like any like major hair products but this is just like a leave-in conditioner packet and it's just small enough for me to throw in here and a brush don't like brushing my hair and a baby hair toothbrush i'll bring some edge control this is actually laid by lyra i really like her edge control i use it a lot so i'll bring this in case i want to do something with my hair probably won't be in the hospital that long to want to it would take a lot of years for me to be in the hospital for me to want to do my hair but if i do i have the option and lastly with my toiletries just some face wash and some moisturizer for my face all right next thing i am going to add into my organizer this one says jackie i'll use mine and stuff down the honeys i'm going to put some electronics that i think that are important to take with me i have my polaroid camera i want to take a few polaroids make sure you have film i have eight pictures in here i have a cute little pink one but nova broke it so bring my little little white one it already has the film in here so i'm gonna make sure i bring this next is my charger Put a sticker or mark something on your charger. I just found all these random stickers that Nova has like sticking around my beauty room. And so I just stuck it on here. But I do not want to deal with anybody thinking this is their charger. So I got the sticker on there. This was my phone charger. This is my camera charger. Once again, <laughs> I found a Elsa and Anna sticker and I put that on here so I have this for my camera and then this I just had thought about this when I was looking underneath my vanity it is an extension cord and if you've been in the hospital before you know sometimes the outlets are a bit hard to reach so I think this is like a major 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 key to bring an extension cord multiple outlets so you can plug in a couple of your devices once again bam sticker so yeah this is actually i think gonna be super useful and important and clutch and then also for my electronics i am bringing my ear pods in case i want to take some phone calls maybe dc or the baby is asleep maybe i want to listen to some music so bring your ear pods or headphones 
and that's pretty much all the electronics that I'm gonna bring I'm not bringing like an iPad or a computer or anything like that I just don't think I will be on either of those I'll have my phone it's kind of hard to like be on your laptop doing any type of work with a newborn so yeah the other electronics I'll be bringing is my camera but I will have that in my hand so this is good to go so next I'm going to put the clothes in my Kenner knapsack this won't be easy to just throw on our back well DC's back because I'm not gonna carry anything so super long straps also these are stroller straps they're so cute in terms of clothing you just want to be as comfortable as possible at all times so I am bringing my nursing bra this thing is like huge I got it from Kohl's and I actually got another one but I had to return it because it was too small I'm like Geesh, my thighs is big so I got this one I got it a little bigger than I normally would wear what is this what size is this this is a 36 double D <laughs> I'm usually a 34 in my width but I just didn't want to feel all tight around the width of my body so I got this one pretty cool the strap the straps just snap on and off so you can pull it down so you can feed the baby so I like that it just snaps on and off next uh, Dormy had sent me some clothes and I haven't ever worn these pajamas before they're just sitting here and I was like oh my gosh they're so comfy and they're just like silky and they feel good so this is like a long sleeve pajama top and some pants pajama bottoms so I thought like what better time than now to bust these things out this is not necessarily clothes but it is a sleeping mask I love me a sleeping mask oh my goodness it just blocks out the light and this thing is clutch so I'm gonna put it next to my pajamas following the pajama situation this is my robe you guys seen it when I did a haul before it is just a super long playboy super long robe I have other robes that are way shorter than this but I figure a nice long robe would be nice so I actually don't have to have much on underneath it it just covers my whole body so I'm gonna take this this right here is a little random outfit but when you're just like sitting in the hospital breastfeeding you really like don't want much clothes on honestly so this is just like a little top I can tie around and some super comfy oversized sweats that are easy to pull up and down I'm gonna bring one pair of socks in the hospital they usually give you socks with the little rubber things on the bottom they're non-slip socks so it grips the ground so you don't fall down so I'm just gonna bring a pair of socks just in case my feet get cold but I'm sure they're gonna give me some socks I just brought these pink sweats with this pink sweater and also this sweater and these sweats one of these outfits I'm gonna wear to the hospital I'll just have it set aside and one of them I'll have to leave the hospital so I have an outfit to go in and an outfit to leave from they're both just like really soft stretchy material I could just stretch over me and lightweight so I don't get too hot so one of these you'll be seeing me walk in there and one of them you'll be seeing me walk out. Also, I'm going to bring this dress. It's so random. I wore it in like my last vlog. It looks like it's a super dressy dress, but it's so comfy and it's nice because I won't have to have pants on. So I may end up just wanting to throw this on like after the shower or something like that. Just something comfy to just stick on that I don't have to put my legs through or anything like that and lastly for clothes um, underwear so when I was pregnant with Nova they gave me some really big underwear because I don't wear big underwear nor do I like did I think to bring them to the hospital with me but this time around I'm gonna bring some bigger underwear so these are just like some little boy shorts and more boy shorts and some comfy Victoria's Secret panties. Um, 
just so I have them in case I don't want to wear their underwear that they give you. They give you like these big ol' disposable underwear, but it's fine because you're like leaking so you don't want those underwear anymore. So I don't really care for these, so I don't mind if I have to throw them away, <laughs> but just in case. Oh, also something in clothing that I didn't th think about until I saw somebody else's video was bringing disposable sandals or sandals that you don't really care about to wear in the shower. So these are mine. I know they're Gucci, so they shouldn't be like disposable, but these are really like my little raggedy sandals that I don't mind wearing in the shower. Out of the shower, it's all rubber. So I'm going to also pack these or I'm gonna just wear them, honestly. They're easy to slip on and off. I'll probably wear these to the hospital so I'll just have these not disposable but if you have some you know how Old Navy sells them for like three bucks or whatever then you can bring those if you don't want to mess up the shoes that you're going in with I'm a flip-flop girl I wouldn't be wearing tennis shoes in any way so those are gonna be my go-to shoes so next in my Courtney carry-all I'm going to put the electronics in here and the toiletries in here and I'm also going to put the baby clothes in here. So in terms of baby clothes, I just thought some little socks would be cute. I got a couple pair, I got a few pairs. She's not walking anywhere so I don't know how dirty they're going to get so I don't think I need a whole bunch of them. But cute little baby socks. These like make noise. Maybe we'll entertain her. Maybe not. Some mittens. I actually need to wash these and wash the other clothes I'm about to show you. So I'll wash them and then I'll end up packing them. I'm gonna bring this. These were like my go-to with Nova. This is actually Nova's. It's gonna be so cute to see Nala Honey in this. But these things are just convenient for changing your baby's diaper. Like you don't have to do nothing you just lift it up poop change the diaper pull it down i don't know what they're called sleepers maybe i'm not sure but i love 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 these so this is a little hand-me-down from nova then i don't know how the weather is gonna be like leaving the hospital but there's this cute little onesie with a little outfit well, this isn't a onesie it's a shirt well it's a cute little shirt with the little shorts and then there's this little onesie with the pants so i'll bring that after i wash it i also found this it's like a little pink sweater like mommy the hood some little pants and a onesie so if it's cold i'll have her on this also a baby swaddle they give you the blanket at the hospital the little baby blanket to swaddle the baby in but this one is just so cool. So we'll see how she likes this. It's all fluffy and warm. And then some hats for her head. I don't really need all of these hats. I might just bring a single hat. I might bring all three of them. I'm not sure. Once again, I have to wash them. And that's it for baby-ish stuff that I'm going to bring because at the hospital they give you plenty of diapers. Don't even bother bringing diapers. They're gonna give you diapers, they're gonna give you wipes, they're gonna give you all that stuff, so I wouldn't bother bringing those. And lastly, I didn't bring this when I had Nova because I had no idea what I was doing and I didn't know that I needed it until I got one like months after having Nova. But if you're breastfeeding or if you're just holding your baby, which you should be, these are so comfortable. It's a boppy. I requested one of these. I actually got a couple of them. It's just like a feeding and support pillow. So you put it around your waist so the baby can sit there and you don't have to hold them and strain your arm or anything like that. I just I love this thing. My little sister and her husband bought this for me and it's just so convenient. I can't even stress how much like I love the boppy. And I thought about not bringing it to the hospital but then I'm like why wouldn't I? it'll just be comfortable for me so i'll have this on deck on standby i don't even think i'm gonna take it out of the plastic actually i think i'm just gonna leave it in the plastic until we go and then i'll bust it out there and a couple last minute things i'm gonna add this bag 
It's my little J Nova collection bag. I might start selling these. Would y'all buy these? It's like a little J Nova collection makeup bag. I didn't really bring a whole lot of makeup. I don't even know if I'll do my makeup at all, but I'm just gonna keep this little bit of makeup. It's a foundation and blush and a, whew, this is clutch. This is clutch, you need this. Some Vaseline for your lips, whether you like cocoa butter or coconut oil or whatever it is that keeps your lips moisturized, this is going to be taken out like during delivery because your lips get so dry. You're like, <sighs> you're like breathing a lot and your lips get really, really dry. So I would definitely suggest having this literally right next to your bed. So this is gonna come with me right next to my bed. Also, a little random thing, a book, any book that's gonna keep you interested or just something to distract your mind or while the baby sleep while your husband sleep you just want to read something I'll bring this so I have it to read okay so that is a pretty much all that I will be packing in my diaper bag but there's one more thing you do not want to forget I think we forgot this when Nova was born and DC had to run home and go get it you're not packing this in a bag, but you better pack it in your car. It is the car seat. Make sure you have the car seat in your car. It's very easy to forget. So either put it in your car now or yeah, have it by the door, by your bags. Like you have to bring the car seat. They're not letting you leave the hospital with your baby without one. So do not forget your car seat. I got the cutest car seat and stroller. I'll show you guys that another time. Well, the stroller, you see the car seat. But it, they basically match and so adorable. But make sure you bring that. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys. If you guys can think of anything else that I might have forgot that you need to bring, please list it below before I go into labor so I can make sure I stick it in there. But I think that's pretty much all I'll need. You don't need a ton of stuff. I have a ton of stuff but you don't need a ton of stuff there are definitely some things in there that are essential some things that you don't really like need but you just want to make yourself as comfortable as you can at the hospital so bring whatever you want you are about to give birth to a whole other life so go crazy please make sure you guys shop with baby lux thank you so much for sponsoring this video and sending me these beautiful gorgeous bags I'm going to put all their information below. Remember, I have a discount code. Remember, you can shop the Jackie collection and get a discount for yourself, for a friend, for your business, whatever. They have bags for everything. Also, <laughs> make sure you guys shop J Nova collection. You already know I am wearing Barbie lashes. I have the nose ring on. I have honey lip gloss in honor of nala honey so make sure you guys go shop j nova collection and i love you guys so much next time i see you guys will probably be after the baby's born so i hope this video helped you out make sure you guys like subscribe comment share all that good stuff make sure you turn your post notifications on so you're first to know when i upload a video you want to be first to see baby nala honey so i know you would turn your post notifications on and thank you guys so much for watching happy delivery to all you mommies out there who are watching this video i'll see you guys next time